Hey, welcome back daywalkers and travelers of night. And once again, we are teaming up with our friends at Steel City Collectibles who are going to be doing an unboxing here for Blue and they're going to open another Moon Knight box. So here we go. We got Brett back helping us out. So let's check this out. Fingers crossed for an Oscar Isaac autograph. I finally saw someone who got one. So I'll put a link to his video down below so you can see someone freak out. <laughs> Which I would do if I end up getting one of those too. So hopefully we got a few boxes left, including this one. So uh, let's hope there's an Oscar Isaac autograph in one of them. Here we go. Whew. <laughs> I'm nervous. Yes, this is for Blue. This is for you, man. Let's get you some gold, all right? Let's get you an autograph. All right, sweet. I like Brett because he's like me. He like looks at each car. He kind of takes his time a little bit. Um, and I like Steve too. I want to be more like Steve. Steve just boom, 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 like looking for the hits. Uh, so one day, Steve, I'm going to be on your level. But I like the speed Brett goes at. And this just worked out time-wise for like when I'm fronting and when Brett's on today. So this worked out greatly. Um, all right, so we got Traveler Night first pack. Have you gotten any yet? Yeah, I got Conchu Actor Auto in my first box. Yeah, we did get the Conchu autograph in our first box, but we were really, 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 now that I know they're definitely out there, the Oscar Isaac ones, we really want an Oscar Isaac one. I mean, I know it's, I don't want to be greedy. I just, I'm just a very, that's what I really want. <laughs> that's the reason why we bought so many boxes. Chamber <laughs> of the Gods. Ooh, okay. That one we I see all the time, the Chamber of the Gods. I think we're still missing one or two Chamber of the Gods. One of them, I think. Um, we actually did an inventory, so um, so yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Murray Abraham. Yeah. As Yeah, so that's the autograph we got was with Conchu, which what is cool. Fish? <laughs> I still love that line. What the fish? <laughs> I try to say it a lot more around, like, I mean, I don't talk to a lot of people here at home, but, like, I'll, if I'm on the phone with my mom, I'll say, what the fish. Stephen Grant's apartment. Cool. There she Looks is. Looks like we got another uh, Traveler Sarah of the Night. Mur Murak is in it. Wow, two in this box. Oh, a sand parallel. Cool. All right. I like that. That's him in the suit. I love that shot of him where he's wearing the suit. I like him in the rags too, but uh, but in that last episode when he's wearing the suit, it's great. All right. So the Steel City is opening this box for us, but they are also sending us two more. So we will have uh, two more boxes coming in next week, uh, and those are going to be used for online collabs only. Um, so those are, we'll open those on other people's channels. And then hopefully the next video or two that I make of, of uh, unboxing or box breaks is actually just uh, not even a box break, but a um, review. I think we might have one box break left, and then we want to do a product review. So, um, But I have footage of Blue opening all of his boxes, so I, we're, we're, <laughs> I'm getting through them. I'm trying my best. But I'm going to probably just use his footage since he didn't talk much in them. I'm just going to use that footage in our um, product review video. Egyptian gods walk Alright, come on. So far, so far, you know, we haven't hit any major hits, so that's good. It's it's building the anticipation. Uh I'm getting it's very <laughs> I'm very nervous. But I actually really like doing these. I like watching other people open cards. It's a bonus that these are cards we're gonna own. Um, but I do like watching other people open packs. That has become a new favorite thing of mine. I see why Blue likes it so much. Uh so he's definitely rubbed off on me. Oscar Isaac is Moon Knight. All right, got card one. We're actually pretty close to building a whole set of the base cards in sand, in sand parallels. Um, so I'm trying to look for sand parallels we don't have. All right, more Chamber of the Gods. So far, no major hits. We're supposed to, on average, get um, two major hits a box. Like usually, one of them's that the you know sky blue or midnight blue card. Um, and then one other major card. And Acetate Antiquities, I think, are one a box, and those don't count as a major hit either. They're just average around one a box. So 
Doesn't mean you're guaranteed them, but that's like an average. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm like looking, I'm trying to look at, he, he holds cards like I do where you kind of can peek a little bit at what's coming up. Um, I'm not very good at hiding cards. All right, a sand parallel. I think we have that one and I think we have it in sand. So, cause we have two full sets of the cards, but right now we're trying to replace all the base cards, one of the base card sets with sand parallels. And then um, I think blue has two full sets of the Fist of Vengeance is also, and half of them are in sand as well. So right now we're kind of moved on to the sand parallel, seeing if we can make a full set of anything in sand. So, so far I haven't seen too many new cards in this one. Just a little further. Take control. He's got now. something back there. Blue. Moon Knight Battles. Nice. At a 199. Nice, okay. I think he's got a balance behind him. Yeah, look. Got a metal card. Balance the scale. Whoa, and it's both of them. It's both of them. It's Steven and Mark. That's amazing. That is amazing. Oh, my God. We got both of them on a card. I did not think that was a possibility for us. Like, the odds of that are pretty high. I think these are like one every 90 one? packs. Yeah, that's a good one, man. It's a great one. Yeah, for our he asked if it was a good one. For our collection, it's a great one because it's both Mark and Steven on a single card uh, that says balance the scales. I mean, how perfect. <laughs> how freaking perfect of the two characters to get. Oh my god, so that's a that's a major hit. And we got the blue card in the same pack. That's that was also kind of mind blowing. So uh and I think that pack had like five cards in it. Maybe I don't know. So ours when we got the balance, I think only had four cards. Maybe that one only had four too. I'll have to go back and rewatch. I was kind of like staring at the blue um and then wondering what that was. So yeah, that's cool, man. Oh my god. See, Brett's he's a lucky dude, man. <laughs> See, when we open packs, sometimes it's, it's not very lucky. And when Blue opens packs, he was saying, like, hey, man, I feel like I got some good cards, but not nearly the kind of hits you got. And I'm like, well, we're going to have Brett's luck rub off on Blue again and try to get him a cool card. And that one is a major cool card. Um, that's a big win, I feel like. Uh, having a balance card with Mark and Steven is perfect. Just perfect. Just, like, kind of sums up the show in one card. Uh, <laughs> this is so good. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Steel City. I love you guys. I tried to get them all away. Show me what you got. You can have the treasure. We got a lot of Chamber of the Gods in this one. Um, like I said, I think we're missing one of them. Card 10, I think, is the Chamber of the Gods we're missing. And then um, the Travelers of the Night, we're missing two cards. I think card 2 and 5. Um, so, yeah, I looked over. Blue made a very – I made somewhat of a list and tried to, you know – but I was jotting things down. I have scribble handwriting. But Blue, man, he made a really detailed list. Um, like so it's easy to remember, but, you know, reading his list. I'm like, wow, he made it very succinct. Hey! Level three! Quitties? I can't say that word. And T with T's. Ethan Hawke is Arthur Harrow. Yeah, that's great. That's a one in every 120 packs of level three, I think. So that's freaking awesome. So I think we have two level ones, three level ones, two level twos, two level threes now, and two level fours. So we got a lot more acetate antiquities than I thought we would, but there are more common than I thought they would be too. I wasn't expecting to get one in almost every box. All right. Looks like regular. No, wait. There's something back there. No, it's just it's sand, sand, parallel. Yeah. Oh wait, no. He's got. It's been a while. Blue out of forty-nine. Wow. 
Blue, we got you a box of two blue cards. I literally just today uploaded a video where for me, I opened a box with a sky blue and a midnight blue. And now blue's got two. He's got his two blues as well. That's great. So I think that's it. I don't think we have any more hits left, uh, sadly. Um, no major ones anyway. So the rest of these are just going to be fun to watch. Um, yeah, getting a Midnight Blue and a Balance in it and a level 3 Antiquity, That's eh, I think that's pretty much tapped us out. And the you know Sky Blue card too. So, um, so these last two are just going to be for fun. Um, or last two or three, however many are left. But that's cool. I mean, that's a good... We haven't gotten any duplicates of the Antiquities, which is nice. And I think maybe one or two new sand parallels in that. Um, so here we go. And it's gift to her first avatar. Let us summon the accused. All right. Hide. Ah, fist of vengeance. That's okay. Vengeance. Freedom comes choice. It's been a while in his game. Thank you, Blue. Very much appreciated. That's awesome. Brett, thank you again, brother. I appreciate it, man. This was a lot of fun. Uh, and I know Blue's going to freak out. He's got a... Now he's got his own box. You're very welcome. <laughs> now he's got his own box with, uh, with a two Blues in a single box. And he's got his own balance card. And it's going to be one that means a lot to him. Blue really pushed me to watch this show. We were diagnosed before the show had come out. And then as the show, you know, leading up some of the advertisement stuff, he got really into it and was like, oh, wow, this is about someone with dual personalities, you know, or multiple personalities like, like us. He's like a system. And he got into the show and was, would write on our boards back when we were still doing all the board stuff, like writing, you know, that's how we communicated was all these dry erase boards. And he would write, like, you got to watch it, you got to watch it. And I'm like, look, I know who Moon Knight is. I know he's got multiple personalities. I get it. Like, you're trying to tell me. There's a message in the show you want me to see. And this was only when he watched the first episode. Um, and by the time episode five was about to come out, I watched one through four and then was ready for five when it came out. And five really was the one that made an impact on me. Um, and I think the whole show made an impact on Blue. So honestly, I wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have bought all these packs if Blue didn't push us so hard to watch that show. Because at that time, I was struggling a lot and uh, I had tried to take my own life and I had I had gone through a really bad time with this revelation um, it made some things make sense things I was struggling with for years it made it like put into perspective and make me go oh my god now this and this and this these things make so much more sense but it also terrified me and I was having trouble accepting it and it's because I would think of like movies like Split or Fight Club where it seemed like the personalities were at odds with each other a lot and although that, that does happen sometimes in our, our system, it's not that extreme, luckily. And it's more like a Mark and Steven type of relationship, even though there's more of us than those two. And there's obviously Jake, obviously, in the show. So we'll have to see how they interact with him with they do a season two. But for us, it was, it was huge to see uh, more compassion put into a show like that, w dealing with that subject matter. And Oscar Isaac really diving deep into you know doing research on people who actually do suffer from did and uh and, and osdd so this was again his performance the care put in the show the focus on that element while also being a superhero show um and and tying it into egypt and all these things like it, it was wonderful I, I mean we have criticisms of the show for sure but on that level, we really love the show. Um, and our criticisms are minor because overall we thought the show was fantastic. So if it wasn't for our feelings on that and Blue putting us in that position to watch the show and, and get us you know, excited for it and, and connect with us and build this with us. I mean, this whole collection, a lot of it's done by Blue going on Etsy and Redbubble and finding people who make stuff of Moon Knight and, and decorating our place with it. And it's become a, a, a bonding thing where he and I connect and we talk about things that we add to the collection now. And it's, you know, this this is a big deal to us. And, and, uh, and some people might roll their eyes at that and that's fine, you know. Um, but uh, every once in a while in life, something comes along that you just, that means something to you. And, and that's what Moon Knight, uh, this show particularly, means to us. And we do read the comics. We have a lot of them, uh, you know, actually almost all of them now at this point. But, um, but for, for you know, because of, comiXology digital sales and stuff so a lot of them we own digitally but 
we've read them and nothing resonated with us like the show did outside of maybe the Jeff Lemire run, which we also really liked, but, and the current Jed McKay run, which is fantastic. But this show really to us is like peak Moon Knight for us. Um, and uh, we know other people have different opinions. So if you do, we'd love for you to share that down in the comments below. And then also let us know what you think of the cards. You know, obviously you've seen us do a bunch of these videos now. And getting this one and getting that balance for blue, that means a lot to me. Um, I'm glad we got a card. It's not an autograph. I get that. But what a cool card. Something, like I said, literally sums up the entire point of the show mark and steven finding balance and we have it on one single card that's amazing so thank you so much for watching the show as always we have some more content coming very soon including episode breakdowns of moon knight we'll talk about blade again we'll get into some Ghost Rider stuff and you may even see some other marvel characters like wolverine and topics about him popping up on the show very soon thanks so much for watching the show like share subscribe all that fun stuff we'll see you in the future peace